Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is a video for laser engravers. And it's also just more than just drawing and, and uh, so on. I'm actually going to show you how to make this item. It's a, it's a bottle opener in the shape of a bottle with a graphic, uh, you know, kind of make it like a, a label for a beer bottle. But this project is really, really easy to make. Uh, it's eighth inch plywood, two layers, the top layer and the back layer. And then in between these two layers is sandwiched quarter inch MDF. The nuts have actually been cut out. Uh, the bottle opener itself comes with wood, wood screws, but they're kind of rough on to use for MDF for uh, they don't work really well and so the only thing I'm going to help you find everything you're going to need but you're going to need to go to a hardware store in Home Depot or Lowe's uh, I actually have an Ace Hardware pretty close to my house that handles virtually any nut and bolts you could ever need they actually have more than Home Depot so if you have an Ace Hardware you're going to want to buy your bottle opener uh, cut you a couple pieces of eighth inch plywood and a piece of quarter inch MDF out and then go match up your length of your bolt and your nut for your thickness because you don't want it protruding. Inside here there's six rare earth magnets. They're hidden. There's two here, there's two here, and there's one or two more right here. So this is made to uh, stick to a ice I was going to say ice box. My kids would give me hell. A refrigerator or a metal, anything metal, it'll stick to it. And also the rare earth magnets here, when the bottle cap itself falls, will actually stick and not land on the floor. The magnets will make it stick to the wood. So I've coated this with two coats of shellac. Anything will work lacquer. But I'm going to kind of go through the steps to kind of show you how to make this. And actually were to get all the parts so if we want to if you want to um, make this and I'm not telling you where to get the parts but if you get this part from Woodcraft the bottle opener this item number so just go to woodcraft.com if you don't have a Woodcraft in your area you can order these online so there's the part number Rare earth magnets, one inch, rare earth magnets, eighth inch thick. You can get them anywhere. Be a little warm. They're a little pricey. This was uh, six magnets and it cost $31. But they're real strong magnets. So this project is going to cost you about $40 to make. It's going to be a real expensive gift. Because this is about seven bucks. And these are 31 but you can go to woodcraft.com and buy them. So, and, and if you do that, I'll actually share the file. I kind of drew the bottle cap opener so I would know what it would look like when it was setting on the uh, bottle. You know, on the, whoop, need to group these back together. So you'll know what it kind of looks like. And you can adjust that, you can go up and down. So then all you need to do is take your nut. So I've got three layers here, the top layer, the, the back layer, then the middle layer is MDF. I've got holes cut for the, in the back layer of the size of the nuts. So you're going to have to adjust that. And to get them precisely, you can go back and watch some other videos to get them exactly right there. So when you sandwich these two together, so these two layers are plywood, eighth inch plywood, birch plywood. This is a layer of quarter inch MDF. You can get MDF in uh, at Home Depot for sure. It comes in, I buy it in two by four sheets. Cut on table saw that fit my laser. So you're going to cut this out of MDF and it's going to cut your magnet holes. The eighth inch magnets, you can actually put two in each hole. And then when they're sandwiched together, they're not visible. The, the magnets are strong enough to go through the eighth inch plywood on both sides. So it not only holds it to your surface, but it's going to collect the bottle caps 
and then the back layer has the holes cut for the uh, bolt to go through. So that's about the only thing. You, and I will share this file. Uh, if you if you do not think you can draw me, just drop me a, a message on my YouTube video and give me your email address and I'll share the file with you. Also, if, if you're a laser engraver and you're not hooked up to Epilogue's Facebook page, it's called Facebook Fan Page, I think. You can go to that page and I'm going to post this file, a Corel file, on their file page. So it'll be there if you want to just go to search Epilogue on Facebook. And it's a really neat Facebook. It, uh, people trade, no, they don't trade, they give files away, you know, and, and uh, help you draw. But this, you know, this was, uh, you know, that way you could kind of see what the bottle opener is going to look like. Your holes are adjusted. You know, I used to uh, measure these holes, cut it out on a little test. Well, I actually cut out this piece, test it to see if it would fit. So here's what it looks like. There's the front and there's the back. And you don't have to use six, six magnets. I'm going to try it later, and I found with rare earth magnets, you're going to have room for two magnets. But if you will put a washer, go to the store buy you one inch washer, you can put a one inch washer on the back side to fill in the space. But it not only it helps the magnet uh, be stronger. Uh, don't really know why, but it, it, on the opposite side of the washer, it actually uh, contracts you know, the metal more, you're more than welcome to use my label and just change out the names. Uh, I've saved it in X3 or X3, yeah, X3 for 13. Pretty neat little label. You know, you could use the exact same one and just edit that top name and put your friend's name or whoever you want to do it. But it's a, it's a fun project. So just a little afterward, it's lined up. So you're two, you're, this layer and this layer are smaller than that layer. So you can see where the MDF is uh, the same size as this plywood so that you can't see the layers. And you would just lightly glue the three layers together. And then while the glue's still wet, go ahead and put your screws in there, tighten it down, uh, use little clamps. I actually use weights, put some weights on it to hold it down. But the screws, you know, with the nuts are gonna help it help it stay in place and be precise, you know, so your edges are real good. Not a very good picture. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.